Tia here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a push notification using one of my favorite conversion apps called Push Owl. Um, push Owl is an app that I talk about in my workflow, the No Fail Get More Repeat Customer Suggested Apps. Uh, I talk about it because it's one of those apps that it's really easy to use. Um, you can install it and set it up in under five minutes. Um, and we've all seen a push notification before. You land on someone's website and you're hit with a, a pop-up that says something like, um, would do you allow notifications from whatever that site might be. So if you land on Flower Power Packages, which is my site, you'll see a pop-up that says, do you allow notifications? Um, we we want to know if we can send you uh, push notifications that are either promotions, um, flash sales, uh, new products. And if you say yes, if you say yes, you allow it, then you would be actually receiving push notifications depending on how often that brand um, sets them up, right? So I set up about two push notifications a day. Um, I have one going out at 1030 in the morning. I have another one going out at 730 in the evening. And uh, I set it up that way if I'm not sending out any newsletters. If I'm sending out a newsletter, then I'm only, I will only set up one push notification for the day. So, I mean, it's really up to you. You can, you can test different days, different times. You can set up two a day. You can set up three a day. It's really up to you. Um, but I, I, I do two a day. I haven't set, it, set up any in a while because I've been really busy uh, working on um, my workflows. Uh, so... Um, today, I just thought, hey, you know what, I need to set up some push notifications. So I figured, you know what, let me just go ahead and create a video and show the people how I do it and how easy it is to do it. <clears throat> Again, it's uh, one of my favorite apps. It's called Push Out. With Push Out, it, Push Out offers a lot of features. It offers abandoned carts, direct marketing, campaign reporting, uh, unlimited subscribers. Yeah, you can have, I think I have, I believe I have almost 6,000 subscribers, I think. Um, I use all the features, the back in stock alerts, the abandoned carts, and yes, uh, I also have abandoned carts set up with my email software, uh, which is Clavio, um, but I have them both set up and they both work. So um, I would advise you to set up uh, to turn on the abandoned carts, even if you do have an email, auto email automation software that offers uh, abandoned carts. So they offer a lot, a lot more features than what I'm going to explain. Um, I just want to show you how easy it is to set up a campaign. So I'm going to go to my uh, Shopify dashboard, and uh, again, it's so easy. It takes less than less than five minutes. So as you can see, okay. So I almost have six thousand subscribers. I have five thousand nine hundred thirty-eight. Um, I have, um, I've generated almost $400,000 in sales. I've sent out about almost 200 campaigns and, uh, let's see, a lot of my subscribers are in the U S. Um, we don't sell internationally or so, I mean, this makes sense anyways. Uh, okay. So we're basically just going to click new campaign. Now you can either send it out now or schedule it. I'm going to schedule it for today and I'm going to say I'm going to set schedule it for 1030. Um, so today February 2nd 1030 I want this push notification to go out to all of my subscribers. All right so this is where you would set up um, your push notification right. Um, you're going to decide what product do you want to push out what promotion are you going to share? Uh, what flash sale are you having? Whatever, whatever you want to, to push out, this is where you would uh, set it up. So um, I am going to create a simple push notification for one of my products that's back in stock. Um, so this product is back in stock, Juicy Terp Infused Hemp Wraps. So I'm just basically gonna grab the title I may say back in stock, boom, boom, 
So you don't really, for me, I've sent push notifications out for this product many times. Uh, and I might just say back in stock in the title and say juicy terp infused hemp wraps and maybe add oops, limited stock. Um, again, you, whatever you want to add to this message is it's whatever you want, right? So I put back in stock, Jersey to Jersey, juicy turp infused hemp wraps, limited stock. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, boom, and I'll do it in all caps, limited stock. All right. So boom, now the URL, I'm going to grab the URL right here. And this is where I put the image. So I have to upload the image here. So you would typically save your image to your desktop or whatever folder. And I use a website called remove.bg. That's remove.b as in boy, g as in go. Remove.bg to remove the background, the white background. Um, of the image, I would prefer that the background is, is just transparent. So I removed the background color. Of course, I download it. This is a free platform you can use. Free platform, remove the background on any image. Uh, okay, so now I have the image that I want to upload, right? So I'm gonna go to my downloads because that's where it is. I have a lot of downloads. Okay, so here it is, boom. As you can see, it loaded right here. And then one is for Windows, one is for Android. So as you can see, Windows image here, Android image here. Oops, did I actually, yes I did. Okay, let's try this again. Boom, this is the one we want. All right. Okay, so now we have both images. Looks good over here, back in stock, limited stock. God, maybe that's not good, right? Back in stock, limited stock. Let's fix that. So back in stock, we'll just go back to what we had. Reverting back to the old. All right. And now this is where you would add your button. So check it out. You can say check it out or buy now. I feel like when I say buy now that I'm pressuring them to buy now. I don't want them to feel like they have to buy now. So I always say check it out. And I'm sure there's something I can come up with something more clever, but I just haven't. All right. So then this is where you put the URL again. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So here we go. Back in stock, juicy terp infused hemp wraps, limited stock, image looks good, no typos. Uh, we got the button going on, check it out, and then all you hit is continue. It's as easy as that. This video says eight minutes. Of course, I was talking for the first three, four minutes. Um, made a couple mistakes in between, but it's all good. Again, this only this takes less than five minutes. It really does. You can set up two campaigns in five minutes, um, and that's what you should do. Uh, so that's it. This is how um, this is this is Push Owl. This is one of my favorite conversion apps, Push Owl. Again, it's in the Shopify store, um, and it's uh, they have a free plan available, so you can test it out if you want. But you want to test it out with the image, and that they actually give you a trial. Um, I believe it's for two weeks where you can actually use it where you can upload the image of your product. So you definitely want to upload the image. It's just, you can't send out a push notification without the image of the product. I just, there's just, it's not the same. It's just not the same. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and click subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I have a lot of apps in my store, not a lot, but enough enough conversion apps um, to help me win. All right, thank you for watching.